must admit he's confounded by Maximista's purchases. Well, clearly you've never planned a wedding before. You're worried about Lulu. I'm worried about Lulu, too, but we already eliminated a suspect. We know Trevor Lansing isn't the one who planted those notes in Lulu's shady broker. Yeah, but that means the pitiless fiend is free to prey upon her guilt over killing the warped one. Lulu thought she was so crazy that she wrote those notes to herself, but she didn't, and we proved that to her. How relieved was she? We did that for her, and now Johnny is taking over. He said he would find out who's leaving Lulu those notes, and if he loves her as much as he supposedly says he does, then I say saving her is now his job. You're the wisdom of your words. Besides, it's not like we're slacking in the friend department. I want to help Lulu. I really do. But I promised Robin I would help her with this wedding, and I'm her cousin. So I have to get it right. I need you to help me focus. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I stand ready to assist, but I, I must admit, when it comes to prenuptial preparations, I am but an empty vessel. Are you saying there's actually something I know more about than you do? Oh, there is much inside your brain, fair Maximista, that remains an impenetrable mystery to me. <laughs> Well, watch and learn. Hi! Oh, well, I see we're just in time to help. Help what? With the bird seed, of course. Notify. <clears throat> okay, so you'll take a piece of this netting, and then with the spoon, scoop some bird seed and put it in the center, and then you'll tie the edges with a ribbon together like this. Or, to make it easier, you can actually tie the top with a rubber band and then put a ribbon over top of it. Or, even better, you can attach one of these cute little name cards that say Patrick and Robin on them. Oh, huh? <laughs> There's one you right there. You look confused. You look confused. Sure you know what you're doing there, buddy? Uh -huh. Just following orders with blind obedience. <laughs> I think this is well within your limits, considering that you operate on people's brains every day. Yeah, well, when I'm in surgery, I actually know what I'm doing, why I'm doing it. This is so that people can throw bird seed at us as we're walking out of the church. Mm -hmm. oh. Rice kills birds. Yes, and when birds eat rice, it expands in their stomach and it kills them. You mean happy couples everywhere have been sending our avian friends to their bloated demise? This is true, but you and I, we will not have rice at our wedding. We will have bird seed. We are part of a movement. <laughs> Ornithoids <laughs> unite! Ah! <laughs> okay, well, it looks like you guys have it under control, so I'm just uh, going to take off if that's okay. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just all thumbs when it comes to this kind of thing. So, uh, I mean, you obviously have a strong male contingent. Represent. Yeah, you look a little pale. Maybe you should go home and just rest. Okay. Carry on, troops. He looked panicked. Like, ran out of here like his hair was on fire. Spinelli, I know Maxie is probably making you do this, but tell me the truth. Is, is this horrible? You can't go by Spinelli. Why not? He's a guy. Yeah, but he's not a guy's guy. Uh, most guys, they have two channels in their brain. Uh, sports and sex. But <laughs> Spinelli, he's beyond that. He's interested in everything. He has so much ridiculous knowledge in his brain. Uh, how many guys do you know know everything about Russian composers and Greek mm. tragedies and the goth god of Zune or whatever? <laughs> I mean, when I need to talk about stuff or just vent, Spinelli's always there to listen. Like... A girl would listen. Oh, maybe I'm marrying the wrong guy. Are you having pre-wedding jitters? <laughs> no, I mean, Patrick and I are preparing for the happiest day of our lives. I just want it to be fun. You know, I don't want it to be stressful at all. I want to celebrate who we are and what we mean to each other. Are you having fun? Yes, especially since you're doing everything. <laughs> well, I'm happy to do everything for you as long as you don't let Patrick spoil it. Um, with all due respect, um, the Doctor of Love is hanging up his romantic stethoscope, as it were. And, and though he may be wholeheartedly welcoming this turn his life has taken, and though he clearly loves the fair Robin and the child she's carrying, I mean, anyone may be allowed a backwards glance at all he is leaving behind. Which is a nice way of saying Patrick's going to miss being a babe magnet. <laughs> hey! What's all this? Uh, tiny projectiles to pelt the happy newlyweds. <laughs> Rice. Well, actually, um, something a little more palatable for our woodland friends. It's an oddly hostile custom to celebrate one's nuptials, come to think of it. I think it's a metaphorical heads up for what married life has in store. <laughs> Bye. Bye. All right, we have to put these in the car, and then we're going to drop them off at the church the morning of the wedding. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hi. Okay, so what can I do to help? 
All you have to do is show up and walk me down the aisle. I wish you could be your dad. You know, I do admit, I had a fantasy of walking down the aisle and having you on one side and my dad on the other, but... <laughs> You know, his cancer treatments are going really well, and his health is the most important thing to me. Besides, he'll be with us in spirit. And I do think that it's kind of fitting that you are going to be the one that walks me down the aisle, considering that you were the one that was with me almost the whole time I was growing up. I'm glad that you're going to be the one that gives me away. Mm. Well, you know what? I'll be happy to walk you down the aisle and give you my blessing. But I will never give you away. Uh-oh. <laughs>